I want to ask you about this baseball. You were drafted twice, yeah. the mm -hmm. Orioles. You're a fourth round draft choice of the Colorado Rockies. You're a heck of a baseball player, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I played for two summers. That was yeah. a good experience, but you know, I knew that this, that's not what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. So. Oh, you gave it up? Yeah. There's nothing like playing quarterback. Ooh, that yeah. makes me feel better here. I was getting nervous about you going I wouldn't back be at your quarterback camp if yeah, I wouldn't. I, like it, I, <laughs> I wouldn't be at your quarterback camp if I wouldn't fully focus on football. But you're playing at NC State, playing quarterback. You're a three-year starter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're a baseball pro. And now I turn the lights on here, and you're at Wisconsin. This is odd. At the time, I had to go to spring training. I wanted to focus on baseball. I wanted to figure out if that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You know, so I went through spring training every single day, gave 100%, played all summer and everything, and then just realized, you know, the Lord has something else in store for me. Well, draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Russell Wilson, quarterback, Wisconsin. Uh, I like this pick. Here comes the commissioner of the National Football League with the latest Seattle Seahawks. I like this drama. I like not knowing. I don't, I don't want to see this. This is fun. Both. This is fun. With the 15th pick in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Bruce Irvin, defensive end, West Virginia. First, and Michael Irvin's hit me because I talked about this yes. kid yesterday. Yes. This might be the most natural pass rusher in the entire draft. He's only 245 pounds. He's got an explosive get off, and he's an explosive player, but there are red flags off the field. The kid's had a lot of trouble. Several teams have taken him off their board. At 245 pounds, he can't play it first down for you. He's not a run defender. He's not stout at the point of attack, but he's the most explosive edge rusher in this draft. Please welcome, from Florida State University, the sixth overall pick of the 1997 draft by the Seahawks, offensive tackle, Walter Jones. With the 47th pick, in the 2012 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Bobby Wagner, linebacker, Utah State. And that's Pete Carroll's kind of linebacker. Bobby Wagner's been a fast riser. He tested extremely well. He's a big linebacker. He played inside at Utah. To me. <laughs> anyway, Bobby Wagner to me is a tremendous athlete. Played both inside and outside for Utah State. When you're talking about the Seattle situation, they re-signed Leroy Hill, they signed Barrett Rood, but they still have a hole in that linebacker core. He's also a four-team special teams player. So you get a guy that will be a core special teams player that's explosive in the run game. You know what I like about him, Mike, when we watched him at the Senior Bowl? Utah State wasn't afraid of anything in the stage there had a good week of practice, and really stepped up on game day and played well also. I like him better inside than I do outside. Bruce Irvin in the first round? <laughs> what is this, amateur hour? <laughs> and I love my guy, John Schneider. I love Pete Carroll, but I just did not understand this draft at all for the Seattle Seahawks. I give him a D. Five foot 11, third round backup quarterback. With big hands yeah! and win games. Who cares? Games. Who cares? Where's, what is this draft? How about your boy Tannehill? <laughs> Wagner's the next pick. I think they could have gotten him on day three. Russell Wilson, to me, is negligible. You put him on the bench, what's he going to do? Fine, great. And then the rest of the draft was a bunch of no-names. So I'm giving him a D. Because that's what the D-line's doing, freeing up those linebackers. Wilson just steps out of the way and pressure and looking downfield and finding. Nice catch by Braylon Edwards, the veteran out of Michigan. Five. Wilson steps up and this is what he can do very well. Still untouched as he approaches the 30-yard line. And for eight for 60 yards, he has one carry for 31 yards. Keeps it himself, cuts it back. Continues to cut it back and he's got space. This will be a Seattle first down and then some. Excellent block on Eric Berry. Leon Washington on the reverse of field that Russell Wilson has. You can see Eric Berry running with the tight end and here he comes Jason you'll see him from left to right running across the screen Leon Washington peels back and hits him low right on the right knee one was on a pass rush from the pocket the other he rolled right and came back left the 
ball just a little covered. Just wide open. Russell Wilson saw him right away. Kellen Winslow, touchdown Seattle. Clearly some confusion with Eric Berry. And Jaleel Brown, who's the corner over there. You can see Jaleel stays down and covers Terrell Owens on the little escape route. Wilson to the end zone, touchdown Seahawks. What went into Pete Carroll's decision to name Russell Wilson the starter week one? This is pretty simple. He's the most dynamic quarterback in the Seahawks camp. He plays fast, the offense looks fast. He poses a dual threat when he's out there. They wanted to give him the chance to play with Seattle starting offense on Friday night. When they did, he shined. You could see everything that he did against the Chiefs. The way he's run the football this summer, it's a little bit like a mini Cam Newton. The way he throws the football, very good. And the intangibles he brings, the leadership, his likability. He is a tremendous player for the Seattle Seahawks. They fell in love with him when they drafted him in the third round of the draft. And they felt like he outplayed Matt Flynn this summer. You see the numbers? He's got a higher completion percentage. He's got a higher yards per attempt. He's got a better touchdown to interception ratio. He's got more rushing yards. Where there did he not outplay Matt Flynn? Pretty simple decision to make, and I think if Pete Carroll had gone the other way, as much as the Seahawks players like and respect Matt Flynn, and as much as they believe he would have been a solid choice, really the popular choice in that locker room is Russell Wilson. The toss, but they've elected to defer, and Jay Feely kicks it off with Leon Washington, the great return man, taking it out from five yards deep. The season is underway. Washington broke a couple of tackles and is buried at about the two go. And then Todd Heath motions the handoff inside to Ryan Williams. Trying to find an opening. Gets just a couple Looks of Looks like that ball popped out, Sam. The ball came out. This is what you deal with with young backs. Obviously a second year player, but more or less, folks. Always great to have Mike explain things. The skeleton. Ball knocked out of his hands by Chris Clemens. And it's ruled an incomplete better when we're in scoring position. Feely kicking off. Leon Washington from seven yards deep. Washington finds a lane. Good move, breaks through. We talk about Patrick Peterson all the time, but Leon Washington equally as dangerous. He is knocked down by Rob Houston on the center. Takes the snap, drops back, looking. Rose, what a catch by Sidney Rice! I love it. I absolutely love it. You look at the progressions he made. He saw something pre-snap. He wanted to take it big. Beanie Wells, the running back. Skelton rolling, being rushed by Clemens. Throws it away. It's caught, but I believe... Let's see. Did they roll it? Then they roll an interception I, by Richard Sherman. It's going to be close, but I think those toes might have just tapped it. After further review, with the rolling on the field is confirmed. We have an interception. First down. Yeah. Yeah. We're down one of them. Line it up the field. Skelton hasn't been sacked in the game, but they've gotten some good pressure on him, especially here in the second half. The high punt. Leon Washington brings it back. Here's the lane. Here he goes. Washington picks up a couple blocks. Now he's tripped up and caught from behind, but he's down inside the yard line for a first down. Marshawn Lynch breaks out, spins it to 25, stays on his feet and finally ridden down. He's 19 yards and no first down. Ball knocked out of the hands of Skelton. Chris Clemens was the one that came around the corner. Looks like he won the Anthony Batista. Here they come. Wilson puts it up. For Sidney Rice, he dropped it. There are two flags now. Kins to play. Fence number 21. Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. And for Seattle, still alive. Pressure, the throw to the end zone. Battered away from Raymond Edwards. Everybody out. Wilson throws. Touchdown, Seat. No, he dropped it. Doug Baldwin dropped it. Throws for Edwards, broken up. Flag on the play. Put the ball in there a little bit. Defense number 22. Automatic first down at the spot of the foul. Marshawn Lynch hit hard at the five yard line. Here's Bruce Hermanson, our referee. Seattle did have a timeout to use. 
Their third timeout was a, a result of an incomplete pass followed by an injury. The clock was not running. They were not charged with that timeout. This is their third and final timeout. And second runoff, so that's not the case in this situation. Thank you, Mike. Second and goal. Wilson throws the fade route. It's broken up. Patrick Peterson on Sidney Rice. That's been a matchup. The blitz on, the fade deep into the end zone for Martin, incomplete. Covered by Michael Adams. Wilson, the pass for Edwards, incomplete. William Gay covering the Arizona defense comes through. Going six for eight for 66 yards and a touchdown to Andre Roberts. The Arizona Cardinals win on opening day over the Seattle Seahawks. Alex Jones back deep, and we are underway before a raucous crowd here in Seattle. Taken out the three on the run by Jones. He loses the football. Jones did a terrific job against Seattle last year. And the punt is blocked. And it is blocked in for a touchdown. We like the two guys in the end. We like the two guys in the end. We like the two guys in the We like the two guys in the We like the two guys in the end. 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 We like the two
to the play again as Wilson kept it alive, John. Well, it's pass interference. We talked about that on Golden Tate. He gets away with it, clearly. I thought Jennings had the interception. State dropped on Wisconsin. The heartbreak that he went through. And now, crazy game. The game is over. This will cause a stir. It's some houses, I can tell you that. Forty three years of Monday nights. Ninety two years of the National Football League and there have been some strange ones. But this one right up there. Stephen A. I'm sorry. I am not yet sold on Russell Wilson. I will be the first to say because I watch most of the game. Russell Wilson played shockingly sensational at Soldier Field yesterday against he a did. good defense. Glad you recognize him. But he's still only about 5 feet 10 inches tall. He still has a hard time seeing out of the pocket if you keep him in the pocket. 